<laughs> no chance to get some grip. We got a challenge. Three photographers on an adventurous road trip through northern Norway. Steep mountains. Rugged islands. Deep fjords. Perfect conditions for Team Hawkland. We took a short break between Hamnoi and Rheine and had some salmon sushi and a delicious fish burger. The sky is cleared a bit, the light is very nice, it's about one hour before sunset, golden hour, and we're going on a little hiking trip through the village and shoot some epic photos. Let's go! The beautiful mountains around the fjord, fishing boats, everything a photographer desires. Nice, yeah, nice. It's a beautiful little town. I just wonder a bit where to walk. I only saw a street and no sidewalks. Yeah, you walk actually on the street, so better watch out for cars. Uh, let's get it on. It's low tide and small pools of water remain here. I got a little house and the mountains in the background and some colors in the sky. Let's combine these things. One thing I really liked in Rheine was this massive mountain, which reminded me a bit of Milford Sound in New Zealand. There's a bridge in front of it and I was super lucky that an orange bus just passed it. I pulled the trigger at the right moment and got the picture I wanted. There's a shipwreck. The only problem was, it was extremely slippery. Because it was low tide, the water was flat and you could go into areas where you usually can't go when the water is high. And in these areas, the stones are covered with algae, And it's super slippery, just like ice combined with soap. Oof! I was already alarmed when we walked there, because I knew how slippery it can be. Minutes before, cameraman Ludwig just slipped away right in front of me while filming me for a scene. I already knew, hey, watch out, be careful, it's slippery. I had to get closer and closer and closer on this slippery ground, step by step by step. I then just sat down. And everything was great. I took one or the other picture. Portrait, landscape, really cool stuff. As long as I didn't move. Ben, how it's going? I'm hanging by a thread, dude. I thought I'd go a bit closer. It was a bad idea. As soon as I started moving, I started to slip in the water. I mean, when I'm in, I'm in. It's so deep, look how far my tripod is already in. So I'm not allowed to move anymore, because as soon as I start to move, I slide completely in the water. Yeah, camera first. I think my shoes have been wet for four days already, so yeah. But friends, it's worth it for me. I have to set priorities, you know. Anyone can dry their shoes, but capture this one special moment here. A low tide is just... <laughs> <laughs> because of the shock from the adrenaline, it actually wasn't that cold, uh, but I saw my pants were wet right up till here and I didn't want my cell phone to get in the salt water and that it breaks or whatever. Hey, can you put my cell phone in your pocket that it doesn't get wet? Hey, I just said it, but I then started to slide. Oh, I'm super wet, man. Can you take that? Camera is safe. As you said, no risk, no fun. Yeah, there's a metal knob here. It's so slippery. Ah, oh, damn it. Done. Just done. 
Uh, do I have another pair of pants in the car? Don't think so. But underpants are actually dry. Uh. Wow, that's just The good thing is, the underpants are dry. This bot has already got a victim. <laughs> Wish me luck that I get up dry. Cause it's like soap. <laughs> As I did not want to get wet, I thought, hey, I'll better unpack the drone. Christoph just flies over, takes a long exposure in front of us and says, I don't care, I don't care. Thank you very much for keeping your fingers crossed. I made it almost dry. Okay, a bit wet, but that's nothing against this story here. Yeah, but I'm only wet here. The rest is all dry. That means the new rental car will not suffer that much. CT thing on and let's go. From my perspective, it was totally worth it because I got unique pictures of this shipwreck, which you can't really photograph at high tide, where I could get close, the light was good, the moment was right. And when I then looked at the pictures back in the scary house, background, mood, everything, I just said, yeah, it was worth it. The sun went down and the lights of the houses turned on. We are using that now and are photographing the blue hour with the red houses and the lights, plus the cloud-covered mountains. Back when we had already completely packed up, I was still wet with my pants. We did actually make another stop because we just wanted to take photos of these two little red fishermen houses. They looked so epic with the little lights on. It was blue hour, maybe even shortly after. Almost completely dark and somehow it looked so magic with the reflection in the water that we needed to stop and take a few more photos. Are you ready? We got a challenge and that is... We have one hour to take one picture. Here on beautiful Utterclife Beach. Being allowed to take only one photo in one hour is absolutely crazy. If you only have one photo, you think about it very carefully. Taking a risk and how high is the risk you are taking. It's been kind of a goosebumps moment. Should I press the button now? Should I wait? I'm already crying a little. We posted that we have some t-shirts with us and we'll find out if someone is here to pick them up. Our last stop on our photo trip through Norway, the place of origin of Haukland. Only one more episode left. And this week was quite busy as we started with our US pre-order shipments. Amazing to see that photographers thousands of miles away love the gear we created. Thank you for your trust. 
And we have now started regular US shipping at www.hawkon.us and are currently talking to B&H about distribution. And did you know, if you're from Europe, you can order at our European website at www.hawkland.de already if you just click on the European flag. The last episode goes live next Friday at 6 p.m. EDT.